All right, we're going to use the multimeter to do a test on a dual channel, dual end channel MOSFET. So on the left, you can see the schematics or data sheet for this MOSFET. This is a working one, pulled out of another working laptop. This is the E6930. All right, so pay attention to the data sheet as this one is silicon based diode. So what we're going to do before working on any MOSFET that is pulled out of another system, is put your finger on and short all the pins. Make sure it's fully shorted. That's rule number one. And multimeter in diode mode. Um, so there is two gates. We've got gate two, gate one. So low side MOSFET, high side MOSFET. So what we're going to do first, oh, by the way, this one, the S1 and S2 are interconnected, so it should make a beep. Good. Now, I've got, I'm going to test whether the source and drain of this MOSFET are open or not. We can see there's a voltage drop, but no beep. That means it's off and it is good. Now to test the other way, no voltage drop. That's a good sign. Now to open this side of the MOSFET with the probe that is positive and the negative probe. So negative probe goes into source and the positive will go to the gate. Hold it for a couple of seconds and this will now open this drain to source. You can see, you can hear the beep. Now I'm going to reset it again. Hold my finger on there. Okay, now test it again. It's closed, good. Now to test the gate, ideally use red on the source and the black on the gate. We don't see any voltage drop. And here, no volt, uh, just a voltage drop, which is fine. We did a test before. But from the gate, you can also do gate to drain and gate to source. Okay, so that tells us this MOSFET, low side MOSFET, it's fine. Now let's test the other MOSFET. The other MOSFET, so this is a dual channel. There we go. So, <clears throat> same thing before. This train to here, it's connected. The source is here for this MOSFET. Good. Now let's rotate. No voltage drop, that was good. Now let's test the gate. Gate. No voltage drop. Gate to source. Nothing. That's fine, these two are connected. Now, we're going to do the same of opening this MOSFET. So what we're going to do? Negative on the drain. And positive on the gate. Hold it there. Now, drain to source should be open. Hear that? Now if I put my finger on it, short everything again, wait a little bit. Here we go. Let's try that drain to source again. It doesn't beep because it's closed. So this MOSFET, both MOSFETs in this dual channel MOSFET is good. Now let's go ahead and bring another one that I pulled out of a motherboard which had the GPU shorted, the same model. Let's check this one out. Right, so same thing as before. Put our finger on it. Short everything. Okay, let's do a test. So we'll test if it's open. It is open, oh, it is closed, that's good. Let's test here, no voltage, good. Now gate. Nothing. Nothing. All good. No gate. Here. Nothing. Great. So that uh, low side MOSFET is good. Now let's test the high side MOSFET. There we go. Drain the source. It's open. How come? We didn't open it yet. 
Let's reset it again. Keep our finger on it. Okay, let's try again. It's still open. That's a problem. Now let's test drain to gate. That is a big voltage drop and that is a short. And the other way around, it will be the same of course. And same here. Yep. And how about mm, source to drain? It's also short. So this uh, high side MOSFET is definitely shorted. So this is a no-go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.